Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, it's Buff Geek here, join... Bye! What up guys, it's me, thankfully, pointed to the right person first. <laughs> and also... <laughs> Hashtag it's Steve. Gosh, you were really upset about that last week, weren't you? <laughs> well, I got yes. to that first. Oh. Mm. There's a hierarchy. I'm clearly the last on the list. <laughs> no. I'm okay with that, that's fine. The last person on the list is the person who's not here. Sorry, Ian. <laughs> Hashtag, you're not listening. <laughs> if we maybe we should trick him and put like Scorsese podcast, and, and then just talk, never talk about Scorsese. He'd stay hanging on for like half an hour. You know he would. We could do that. That's mean. We could do that. It's also it's not just him that would fall for it though. Oh we oh, oh yeah we, no. we, we, we would piss off <laughs> right no 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 no. That's okay, because everyone that's listening right now this one. We'll know will story. know not to not to do it. When we say Scorsese, Scorsese we mean... <laughs> bullshitting for half an hour. Cox and... Robbers. Yes. <laughs> Don't know why I'd be Cox and Robbers. Um, Better than Robert Cox. Robert Cox or Robert Cox? You heard. <laughs> oh, I, I didn't, that's why I'm trying to clarify, because <laughs> both can be fun and also painful. <laughs> So, um, we've got some housekeeping to do, potentially, but I don't know if we should Ooh. do it on the next episode, because it's not actually about Game of Thrones, Ooh. but it could be a hook for someone to go listen to one of our other episodes. Oh, oh, oh. I'm all about the hook. Hook? Hook, 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 I watched that like two weeks ago. It's really? the fucking, it, do you awesome. know what? Does it stand up okay? It stands up amazing. Everything... <laughs> Everything looks expensive as fuck. Oh, like, because it's not set in our world kind of thing. It's set on Neverland. I'm assuming it can just be. But even when life. it is set in our world, it looks okay. Yeah. I mean, apart from like the mo- mobile phone. Oh, yeah. Is yeah. it a mobile phone? Is it like yeah, these yeah. bricks? Remember, mm. yeah, he, remember he's got the mobile phone. Robert he's like he's scrabbling phone. about in the snow trying to get it or something. Yeah. Yeah. But apart from that, oh, everything know. else is bang on. Like, Decent. all the weaponry, the whole thing. I mean, it just... Rufio's you know, hairstyle? Amazing. <laughs> really? Look, it's great, yeah. It's still sad when he gets killed. It's still... Oh, sorry, spoilers. Yeah. Wait, wait, now, this came out in 1991, motherfucker. Yeah. If you don't watched it yet, it's on Netflix, by the way. Oh. Anyway, so now we did that kind of super super team-up thing mm-hmm. episode, mm-hmm. which we, yes. we we did, and then we phoned a whole bunch of folks, including yes. yourself, yes. fucked yours up. Yeah, but worked out okay, actually. But it worked out okay. the sounds of it. Yeah. <laughs> Listen to it back. I prefer Jesse Custer. Yeah. But... Uh, I mean, I kind of called someone out um, on the show. Have they got to you? Uh, no. Well, they haven't got to me in that way, but they sent me, they sent me their team. Oh yes. So I'm right. thinking we should talk about their team, mm-hmm. about their team. Sorry, and um, just real quick, in case you didn't listen to these this other podcast, basically you had to choose one Marvel. Well, I was going to say superhero. One Marvel character, character, one DC character, one anime character, and one gaming character, yeah. and create a team from it. And I, I went super OP and just wanted to, to win it pick all. All the gods. I just went god mode. <laughs> uh, and there were some people who were like, "Yeah, I'm gonna pick Wolverine because because he's cool." And it's like mm-hmm. he wouldn't win. Oh man. Anyway, well, he did put him in the coolest team at the end. But he is the coolest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So in the cool team, he mm-hmm. wins. So Andrew Morrison, right? He is. About six foot nine, ten, maybe a little bit more. Uh, tiny he guy. He may well be the uh, yeah, tiny guy. Yeah, he may well be uh, the champion at SSW, and I do want me a shot at that belt at some point. <laughs> but um, he gave his team over because I called him out on the podcast. He was like, "Fuck you, man!" I'm on team. <laughs> so from Marvel, he uh-huh. says Reed Richards. You okay. that, didn't you? Mostly yeah. for his intelligence, so he can be the strategist man in the chair. Mm-hmm. But obviously, I mean, uh, he's a big comic book guy, and he always gives me hassle for being 30 years out of touch, or 20 <laughs> years out of touch. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you see, I presume he also knows that Reed is now God, basically. More or less. Sort yeah. of, yeah. But he didn't mention that. Well, he's a very inactive God, but it's right. there. Right, but it's mm-hmm. there. It's then, the from DC, we have uh, Dr. Manhattan... From Watchmen. Yeah, because he's probably the coolest of the basically god characters. Mm-hmm. He's See, I think of him as basically a god, but like an earth god, not mm-hmm. like 
Universal. Not Universal, mm. but still, sweet choice. Mm-hmm. Anime, and I wanted to choose him so bad, but I couldn't because he would get beat by Wiz. Is Vegeta. Mm-hmm. Badass as fuck. And um, ruthless. And ruthless. And just he's just cool, you mm-hmm. know. He is the coolest. He's way cooler than Goku, the whole thing. And then the last one, I don't know, maybe you'll have to fill this in. I, you're not a gamer, are you? So no, massively. Much. No. So, games is Ezio from Assassin's Creed? Ezio. Ezio. Ezio Auditore from okay. Assassin's Creed 2. So and any of those ones, yeah. his comments are, I'll admit this is a shit choice, but I don't play a whole <laughs> lot of video games, so don't know many other characters, but having a master assassin on the team might help. Plus, if he has the Apple of Eden, he'll probably be OP'd. Yes, this is true. Ezio Auditore da Firenze, if you want his full name. Ah, right. So, is he um, is he a god? No, way? he's an assassin, but he ends up with the Apple of Eden at the end of... Oh, I can't remember. And it's basically a godlike kind of so implement. The, the, the trailer for the film, did that actually tie into the... the I haven't games? seen the film. No, no, but Apparently, the Apparently, it's all the what games. What about? I haven't even seen the trailer, no. Oh, all right. I'm bad for seeing trailers. So Fassbender gets hooked up to a machine and he can go back in time. Is it the Animus? Aye. Yeah, right. it's to, Animus. Yeah. To like, what he was like 600 years ago. Ah, okay, yeah. So he's like a bit of a time traveller. So if you die in the past, do you die in the machine? You desynchronise in the game. I, I don't think it's quite dying so in the machine. is he then going to warp himself into battles? Kind of like Doctor Strange at the end. He's warping into existing die. people though. Oh. So he's taking over their bodies. So, so it's, it's kind of like Quantum Leap. Yes. So he could be yes. his cannon for it. He yeah. can just like keep like moving people. <laughs> yeah. My phone is going to die. You're going to need to pass me the charge air. Uh, or okay. actually, you could just charge it because I don't think I need my phone anymore. Right. For da, da, da. now. Anyway, so. thank you, Andrew, for that contribution. I think yes, that it, it does mean that we'd have to revise the coolness team. Mm-hmm. I still reckon my team is God. <laughs> Like enough to to yeah. win. Would Sephiroth beat? Who's no, you for DC? Would again? Sephiroth beat uh, Ezo? Uh, Ezo? You. Um, you yeah, probably. Yeah, I'd imagine you beat him quite yeah, easily. You know, yeah, probably. Yeah, we'll put, yeah, on this yeah. Guy, I'd go with that based on what I know. I can't remember what the Apple Eden basically does, so I would go with yes. We discussed. Yeah. We discussed mm-hmm. Reed. Yeah, we did. The yeah. Anti Monitor lives throughout the multiverse. Uh, so had, yeah, so Doctor Manhattan might would, get zapped by him anyway. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. And Vegeta um, is typically less than Goku, and Goku isn't his power. I have as, no idea about Dragon as, Ball Z. Is it Barris? And then Wiz is his coach, so... Wiz is the man. So yeah, Wiz is the man. But we did the coolness section, and in anime, do you think that Vegeta is cooler than Scar? Mm. He'd beat him in a fight. Probably He would beat him in a fight. He'd probably beat all, all the alchemists. He would have a yeah. Maybe, I don't maybe know he'd have a hard time with father. Uh, I forgot about him. What's his name again? Heimrich. Um. Well, it's it's not Hohenheim. But, Hohenheim. Uh, that was it. That was yeah. That he's kind of Hohenheim. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry, Steve. So yeah, over here, Elvio music is playing. As v- I have no Vegeta, idea what's going on. <laughs> Vegeta over Scar. Do you know? You don't know Scar. Do you know Vegeta from yeah, Dragon Ball Z? I did. I did say it on a phone. Anime is not my thing. I mean, I'd be inclined to go with Vegeta just because he's fucking cool as shit. <laughs> go with it. Yeah, I like him better than Scar. It's, it's tough, but I do. Okay. Switch so I think official. we're switching out, making it official. Vegeta comes in and takes out a Scar. Okay, uh, okay. But a big well done, Andrew. Yeah. Nice one, bud. And if anyone else wants to fire in their stuff, we may change it yet again. It could be changed again. Yeah, you Let's could be just it. like go Andrew. Be like Andrew. Make a change today. Can I be six feet nine? No. With lifts, maybe. No, not even lifts. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking yellow pages. <laughs> yeah, you need a few of them. Can I get my Downey Jr. Wait, heels? <laughs> listen. Aren't you like five foot nine? Yeah. Do you want an entire foot? Have you seen the stairs? <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, I see. We're talking yeah, about... Yeah, yeah, anyway. when, when we're lying down, eh? Yeah. That old chest no. up. Anyway, folks, if you're tuned into the... The podcast, listen to us talk about Game of Thrones. We are going to talk about Game of Thrones. What were you yes. pointing at? I don't think we're on the right microphone. You, you fucking are. Okay, carry on. Oh, we're not on the right microphone. <laughs> I don't think so. So it's going to. So basically, it's going to sound a little bit shit. I believe so. Cool.
Well, it's meant to be so set speak up... speak to this one. It's meant to be set up to work every single time, and it keeps changing. Ever since one person changed the settings, it jumps between settings all the time. Mm. Oh, dear. Don't let them near your computer, then. I shan't. <laughs> unless, unless we wrap and start again, and it can be its own self-contained little... Episode. Addendum to yeah. the character. I don't think so. Yeah. Yes, mini <laughs> box, mini cast. Another mini cast. Fed us in the mini cast and Dunkirk the other day. You did. I'm not listening to them. Okay. Shame on me. Shame on you. Shame on you. Anyway. I'm not in it, so I won't listen to it. W- what did I. <laughs> Fucking hell. Must be a, a family trait. It's a knife out of it. Jesus. Yeah. What, was that? what was the episode called with the Marvel and the DC and the anime? Uh, one to rule them all. One team to rule them all. Think, one team yeah. to rule, all, rule I'm them say all. Is it that far ago? I don't know. Maybe it's more like 148. Anyway, hmm. if you're thinking, what are these guys talking about? This sounds kind of cool. I reckon I could, I, I could choose a better team. Who's that? Any monitor? Who's you know the one above all and all this kind of stuff? Know. Then let, <laughs> yeah. no, let us know. Then let us know. Because I just went OP gods and then just put it in. I don't even know where anyone is. One four nine. One four nine. So you can go check that out. It happened somewhere in between. You remember when you like you listened to Game of Thrones review season season seven episode two and then skipped one and then went to episode three. <laughs> it's in there, I think. So go back and listen to that one. Then you know what we're talking about. Anyway, anyway housekeeping yes. is done. We get to move on. We're talking Game of Thrones Woo! season seven episode five. Bye. David, that's. Five. That's five. Yes. Not the one that actually broadcast. What's six in globally. Spanish? Says siete. 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 Four, five, cinco, cinco, says. Fuck's <laughs> 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 sake. However, is, I don't know. whatever way it works, man. Whatever way it works, to remember. The hound approves. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Yarp. <laughs> Look at the neck oh, of that. Oh dear. Outstanding. <laughs> so yes. Anyway. In terms of Game of Thrones, mm-hmm. I want to make some predictions for the next episode too. What for, season, for episode six? <laughs> oh, I think not. <laughs> um, do you want to start off with what what happened, or shall I well, try and try and do it chronologically? Let's start with, yeah, let's go chronologically. Let's start with what was the first thing that happened. Okay, so a cliffhanger from episode four. What cliffhanger was? from episode four is that Bronn pulls Jamie out of the water and they're. The, the, what was the the Mary in Abyss or whatever? The, yeah, the, the, the Mariana Trench. Mariana yeah. Trench, that's it, yes. <laughs> Manages to unearth him from that massive drop. Mm. Swim him a mile away from the battle, underwater, yep. and with, drag him out. With plate armour on. And then drag him out. Uh, the, uh, it's a bit ridiculous. What, what sort of Whatever. absolute god is Braun? He must be. Why didn't he, why, why, why didn't he fight the mountain? I meant to ask you guys this. Why did Braun not fight the mountain? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember when Tyrion was like, oh, it's said, okay, he said, Braun will fight him, and Braun's like, no. He's like, I'm not fighting a losing battle. He basically said that. He's like, there's no way I'm going to fight him. Is that what he said? Yeah, something he like said. that. He what said that. Tyrion's um, trap. Yeah, he, uh, he's, he's like, four. I'm not stupid. He's going to do Yeah, he, he refused to do it because then you were like, oh, no. Because when Tyrion <laughs> demanded trial by combat, everyone was thinking, Bronn's dead. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Why did Bronn... No, no, I think you're right. I was, pr- Yeah, I was pretty mm-hmm. sure that, that was it, but I, I thought, was there maybe another reason, like... Did he not say, I kind of like the castle you gave me and the wenchlet that yeah. I've got, <laughs> so I'm keeping it. I'm, I'm just going to I'm just gonna pump her and, you know, whatever. So I take it they're allowed to refuse based on if they're in nobility, then. Well, I don't think you just, I mean, it was Tyrion who was doing the trial by combat, Yeah. so he was anointing someone. Yeah, he I don't think they have. Him. I don't think they have to do just it. Just bear in mind that um, Oberyn went to him in the dungeon and says, I'll fight for you. Oh, yes. You know, it was done that way around. Yes. Yeah, that was but, it. But uh, before that, he'd always like in the veil. He says, "This is my champion, Bron." Yes, he's a man trapped by combat, and Bron wins. Mm. Don't know. Mm. Take some research. No, I think I think that's pretty much. He refused on. to face the mountain in Tyrion's second trial, despite his superior speed skill and um, ability. He basically said that um, one misstep and I'm dead, and that that's it. No, it's like, and what? that's true. He's not. He, he's not. <laughs> he foreshadowed. <fast> enough. <laughs> he, he foreshadowed what happened. <laughs> yeah, well, that, that was it because he could hit him as many times as he would, mm-hmm. you know, and he might not kill him, but he just needs one hit back, and that's you fucked. And that's what happened to Oberyn. He got punched in the face, and his teeth just came out like skills. Mm-hmm. It was like he'd opened a bag of sweets. Yeah, you know, that's so. all you would need, really, as the mountain. Mm-hmm. I mean, I remember everyone was going on about oh, Conor McGregor in the mountain. Conor would cut him down. I think. Oh, God. 
<laughs> Connor's way too small to do that to that man. Well, that we'll size. see what he does next might week. Is it right. next week? Yeah. When he gets fucking beat week on Saturday. Yep. Yeah, whatever. It will I'm not so be a it will not be a red panty night. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe for at least one of us. <laughs> oh, I, no, like for red <laughs> I, I like red panties. I do like red panties. The soft on the skin. I like when you wear them too. So mm. anyway, yeah. so <laughs> Game of Thrones, Game of Thrones, right? So manly, <clears throat> Jamie, manly. manly. <laughs> Jamie and uh, Jamie and Bron are kind of chatting, and Jamie's like, "Well, I wanted to end the war. That's why I went after her." Can you not see the freaking big dragon there? He's like, eh. Did you see the meme where it was like, um, it was back to when Joffrey and Jamie were talking about the book of history and it's talking about Jamie's page and there's not much in it. And he's like, what have you achieved? And he's like, there's still time. And he's like, you're 40 odd, you, you've not got much time left or something like that. And then the next uh, image is Jamie oh, riding towards the dragon. Like, Hold the coat, watch this, you little shit. Uh, <laughs> <that's> yes. <laughs> but that brings me to a theory. But I read. Ooh, is it a serious theory? It is a serious theory. About this series? About this series. And that makes it even better. And that makes it even better what you just said. A serious series about this series? Yes. No, the other bit. What, the Joffrey's The Book of Lannisters and the Book of History? Yes. Okie dokie. Shall I go with it now? Let's fire in. Right, okay. So, apparently, there's a theory going around, and let's just say I made it up. Okay? For argument's sake, <laughs> I don't know who, where I read it or who to give any credit to, so I'm giving credit to myself. <laughs> <laughs> I was like that when I invented Google. Really? Yeah, yeah. That was you? Yeah, I just forgot to credit it to anyone and I got... Why is it you got to have that thing it, on so you watch your mask all the time? Why do you call it Doodle? Doodle. Yeah. It was originally like called Doodle. Doodle. Called it Google. Hmm. Google. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. <laughs> Motley Lou. Anyway, carry on. So check it out, right? Um, there's a theory going around that... Jamie Lannister is the, the 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 chosen one. I don't know what the name Azor, is. Azor as a high. Azor yes. high. As, as, as him. As a high. As, as, as the chosen one. Uh-huh. I'd seen something about this. No, I have read just it yesterday. But I sent yeah. you guys it. Ah, uh, yeah, that's where I've seen yeah, it. No. Yeah, and, you sent it. And they're saying like he will. Uh, uh, he's, got, he's, got, he's got to kill three people. Three three important Targaryens. He's already killed. The first Targaryen, the Mad mm-hmm. King, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and then he will kill. I don't know. The, I, I, I can't remember the rest of the theory right now, but they're talking all about that. And the fact that you're saying, you know, what have you done recently? Are you going to bring it up in the chat? To I'm going to try. Yeah, that'd be nice. Um, Just because you're kind of flagging about that, <laughs> you're like, ah. well, I suddenly realised I can't remember who he was meant to have killed. <laughs> but he killed. He, he did kill the Mad King, so he's already got one under his belt. Mm-hmm. Whereas if Jon Snow's got to do it, who's the three he's going to kill? Well, if, if the whole Cersei is a Targaryen theory, oh yeah, yeah, rumored that could be because we think um, Jamie might love Cersei. Yes, this is true. Uh, yeah. So we would only need one more. Which? Daenerys or Jon or Jon Snow. Jon Snow. Jon Snow, King uh, of the North. Yeah. Is <laughs> the only other two that can't find it at the minute. I can find it on my phone if you guys want to want to keep on talking about the next scene. Well, but yeah. that's just something that popped up, and then you saying that from the book there, it's like because mm. that makes sense, you know. Oh, I've got I've got time. Yeah. You, you do have time because you're the fucking you're the golden child. Is because he, he's he used to have the blonde hair and shit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's funny if you notice the difference in people, but I like the how they've aged or changed over the yeah. series as well. Find yeah, you got, got it, it, you got it, got it. Good, good, good. So I'll have a quick squiz on this while you keep talking. All right, okay, so yeah, my, my only gripe with that was what I'd said earlier. Basically, they were a mile away from the smoke in the battle, but Jamie was coughing How up water. How sure it was a mile? Oh, it wasn't a mile, but it was a fucking distance. Longer, like, further than I could swim. Long, long enough long for the dragon not to blow them, like, to burn them. Yes, but Jamie or came up out of the water. Held the breath under that whole day. Yeah, because Jamie came up out of the water and spat up a lot of water, like he'd swallowed a lot of water, like he'd inhaled some as well. Mm-hmm. So like he'd had like almost drowned in a way, but that would suggest that he'd been underwater the entire time. Bron was swimming with him or whatever, mm. and they were a long distance away for him to be in that deep and come out of it. That's a good point because he was sinking downwards. Mm-hmm. Yep. Help me. So, I mean, I didn't, I didn't think for a second he was dead. Nah. But nah, it was some a people would It's a bit of a useless cliffhanger, really. And this is the thing with Game of Thrones now. We've whittled it down. To important characters, and you can't just go kill you them all. Can, you all can time. tell when their stories are finished and when they're not. Yeah. So, like, so Alaria Sand, Elena Tyrell, mm-hmm. 
their stories were done because yeah. the wars were kicking in. It was coming down to one side versus the other versus the Night King. Yeah. Night King. So everyone's got this plot armour at the moment, which makes it hard to be seeing Jamie sink into the bottom of the ship, the bottom of the lake and be like, oh no, he could be out. Yeah. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas before in Game of Thrones, you were like, oh, Ned Stark won't get his head chopped off. Thump. Mm-hmm. Ooh, holy moly. Yeah. Right. I thought, I, I watched the next episode, I was like, he'll be alive. No. Okay. He'll be a ghost. No. Season two. He'll be in this. Mm-hmm. No. I'm Never like, what back. the fuck? Yeah. So, according to this, basically, what they're saying is Jamie is actually Azura High and will defeat the Night King and put an end to the Long Night. It says... That's it. The theory states that Jamie and Cersei are Targaryens and the real father was King Aerys, also known as the Mad King. That would leave Tyrion as the only true remaining member of House Lannister. Which would make sense for Tywin to just hate him because he's mm. his only fucking son. Mm-hmm. The only heir, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Would make sense. But the dragon didn't really react that much to Jamie. It was ready to... Sorry, it wasn't. It didn't react in yeah, the same way that uh, it reacts to John Snow yeah. when you see him when you go to the next scene. Oh, well, yes. sorry, the scene after it's this pretty, next scene. Yeah, pretty soon. But yeah. Um. So surely that would wouldn't be the case, yeah, but it did react really it. nicely to Tyrion. Unless it was just the default, the dragon knew that that he, Jamie was going forward in there. The soldier so was coming. Doesn't matter what house he belongs to, if he's Targaryen or not, he's going up in smoke. He's about to kill his mum. Do you know what I mean? Well, also, if he's Targaryen well, and burns it. him, he won't, he won't die. He'll it's just a, stop him from killing... Yeah, there's a point. Yeah, there's he'll a point. just stop him from killing Daenerys. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Just um, incapacity. A incapacity, yeah. yeah. And he won't have a weapon. That mm-hmm. would have been actually interesting if it great. finished on Jamie getting blasted with the fire. And he was just yeah. lying there like... And then, no. And it, you just see yeah. him engulfed in flames and it ends. Uh-huh. And then the next episode, he keeps riding on through like... Just misses the dragon and keeps riding, looking absolutely shell shocked. Like, what the Wait, fuck just happened? Just happened yeah. And then the horse just kind of crashes into the ground. And the and horse just keeps running off, and ja- like two episodes later, Jamie's still going. You know, like no, no, the horse would have got eviscerated. The horse yeah, that's true. The horse, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fine, then Jamie's well, just starting along. He's just taking some blood out and injecting it. And that's you immune to the fire. <laughs> well, you know how they like um, fucking brother and sister and everything. Mm-hmm. Well, they also interbreed with animals. Oh, is that why? So it's got so the horse. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. It's, it's part Targaryen, it's Lannister. Horror. Yeah, the whole thing, man. The whole thing. However, what I liked about that scene though was mm-hmm. when he was chatting to Bronn and he was like, he was proper talking about like that was only one dragon and look what she could do. She has three of these. You can tell he's proper like thinking we're fucked. Oh, yeah. That was his eye on them. He, he was right like, away, he's like, holy shit, we're not going to win this. Uh, when and he and tell Cersei, when will they have ever been in a fight? Like that, where um, a whole army has been wiped out that quickly. so quickly and so yes. efficiently no. by an untouchable enemy. No, not because the dragons haven't existed in, in their inverted But nothing like my last handicap match at the wrestling. Well, if, you, if you fight people <laughs> in wheelchairs, then so be it, yeah. you know. <laughs> <laughs> if that's that how you get your kick are you trying to compare get... Jamie Lannister to someone in a wheelchair just commenting on your Cause, because he's got because he's missing a, missing a hand <laughs> oh, okay. yeah, yeah. I know you're trying to I'm just trying to make you feel like a dick <laughs> it's going to be very very hard <laughs> what <laughs> yeah. to feel it yep oh dear <laughs> <laughs> then we get to Tyrion <laughs> then we get to Tyrion walking through the ashes looking a bit forlorn that his brethren have all been melted yeah uh, they're kind of sowing the seeds into a potential turn for Tyrion here. Oh, well, I uh, feel like he's going to turn. Whether they're doing it really obviously or not, I don't know. But yeah, he's he's kind of he's a bit torn. He's I think he sure. knows. It's almost that cruel to be kind kind of thing. I think he knows mm. that Daenerys is the the better ruler. Mm. He hates his sister. His sister's tried yeah, to kill him on numerous yeah, occasions. Yeah. But he doesn't like the path they're having to go down to. Yes. I, I don't think Tyrion's going to He would have taken it through diplomacy and the old school way, but if Daenerys is just like... i got to teach him a lesson. I'm just going to... And gonna these, these were his old house. house. Some of these men he'd have known, yeah. probably. Yeah, yeah, we'd have known, absolutely. Yeah. So, yeah. And then they've got... Then you've got Randall and Dickon. Dickon, and who is Rook. just Rook. one big handsome son of a gun, eh? No, he's not. Not anymore. <laughs> not anymore. He's a crispy <laughs> bitch. <laughs> um, I was speaking to... Uh, Lindsay about him today. Lindsay's a, a chap I train, but he, he he really likes his Game of Thrones, and he, he was, works at the same place as us, I believe. He does work at the same place as you, mm-hmm. but because 
because of this type of, type of job that you guys do, you guys get to have fun and free reign, mm -hmm. whereas he does a different type of job, which means he gets it tight like everyone he, else. He's chained at his desk. Oh, right. Poor guy. Yeah, something like that. Oh, whereas sorry, I think you guys kind of... Yeah. yeah. They've been there and done that. Moved yeah. On. <laughs> Moved on. Um, so shout out to Lindsay if you're listening to this. And he was saying that... Um, Company sucks company sucks <laughs> he did say that um <laughs> but what company Damn. um he was saying oh yeah well maybe maybe um Turian's going to turn on them maybe Turian's the one that's been feeding them the information i was like i don't think so because i would be more inclined to believe it and we spoke with this before if they they weren't focusing on him looking kind of looking kind of worried and all those kind of looks that he's thrown up to Daenerys, because those looks are not for any of the cast. Those looks are not, no one else is noticing those. Mm -hmm. It's just for people watching. Mm -hmm. So when you do something for people watching that conflicts with what actually they end up doing later on, that's just like taking the piss out of the audience and trying to fool them. Yeah. I, I Which is why I think it can't be him. Mm -hmm. However, this episode showed that there was um, a lot of communications going on that we didn't know about as well we'll talk about it later but there was things that were talked about that were just suddenly like ooh sneaky sneaky sir but oh well, that is true that is true so so you never know okay fair enough fair enough but yeah so Randall and Dickon Tarly basically refused to bend the knee yeah well Randall refused and then Dickon stepped forward and went I, I refuse too what are you going to do about it who are you just some stupid little boy I <laughs> Dracarys boom gone yeah <laughs> I like the way it was done like the flames hit them. You see them go ah, and then suddenly they just. Yeah. It was just like drop. you know, you know, when um, Mario when you jump on the skeleton turtles <laughs> and they just kind of crumple. Yeah. You know, it was kind of like that. <laughs> so. But I thought that scene. I thought that's another scene where I'm like, oh, Daenerys, she's such a fucking cunt. Mm -hmm. and you're not even hot anymore. I do disagree. Do you know what? I did, do you know what? I did confirm though, which puts paid as I think something we talked about last week, but I can't quite remember off the top of my head. The potential Drogon getting hurt because yeah. he seemed quite happy by then. Oh yeah, he wasn't even because injured. he got jabbed in the shoulder yeah. by the scorpion, and he didn't mm. seem to really show any. Oh, we were talking about that. poison, the whole thing, yeah, right? Yeah, but... yeah, we thought he'd be like, yeah, but no, and um, but you see him later on flying quite happy. But you know well, what? So I don't know if anyone's we'll thought about this yet, but does that not mean that Sam is now Lord of House Tarn? Uh, did I speak to you about this, or was it Paul? Possibly. Must have been Paul. Um, yeah. I was saying, how does that work? Now, because he went, he but got sent off to the watch, yeah, did he renounce, I think he's are they allowed to, to come back then? I don't know. Because well, presumably because he's a maester. Well, now, so does that wipe it out? And then restart it? Well, I don't Cause know. Because he's, he's, if he goes to the, the, but, Maesters are maesters. They're uh, never, they're never, they never rule a castle or anything. Are they no, like, I know, but if he goes to the Black minister. Watch, he gives up his name of yeah. Tarly, right? Yeah. The Black Watch, brilliant. <laughs> Is that what it's called? The Night's Watch. The Night Watch, sorry. <laughs> Black Watch is the boys up there. This is why I never, ever introduce anyone to anyone, because I do not know, I cannot remember names of stuff. It's unbelievable. Just imagine that, you're hosting like a Metallica gig or something, but ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Busted! Um, <laughs> It'll be more like Megadeth. It'll be uh, something close, but not, not quite. Oh, and then it'll be like, oh, that'd be the worst. That's probably the worst thing you can say. So he goes up to the Night's Watch, mm -hmm. They set him off to be a maester for the Night's Watch, presumably. Mm, yes. Presumably the idea is that he used to become a maester to come back well, he went to work for the Night's Watch. He did go home. He went home on route, yeah. yeah. Was that, that, that was your first introduction to... That was just visiting. Or does that home. mean that you're not out in the Night's Watch anymore, you're going to become a maester, and then he's kind of said to John, I'll come back and He'll be your maester. Yeah, yeah, so I think if Night's Watch maester, either way, I don't know if you would be but lord of eligible. a house. But does yeah. becoming a maester mean that You've now wiped out the black spot, the black, oh, the night's yeah, watch, mean, yeah. and then by leaving the time. as a maester, I think that's a maester, does that reset him to being in the night's <laughs> I think watch? It's actually oh, even I more say, denouncing the name watch. than mm. being in the night's watch. I, I think either mm. way, he's, someone's he's got to get that money, yo. He's left the citadel, as we'll talk about yeah. later. So I don't know what implications that'll have if he'll yeah. be excommunicado and have to start right, to kill yeah. him. I'll kill them all. Cool. Yeah. Um, cool. So yeah, we are half an hour in and we're on the second line of these notes. Yeah. Oh, so shit. Jamie, <laughs> Jamie goes back to King's Landing, tells Cersei that it was Elena that killed Joffrey. 
Was it just me that thought that um, that her hand had been diddling her? Uh, no, I think no. no. Uh, I didn't that think was, that so. was actually No, I didn't next. actually think that, but that just was, the way he's like, oh, hey, Jamie. That's the, <clears> next, <throat> that's the next scene later. No, no, because he leaves, he walks past, and Jamie, he's like, oh, hey, Jamie, and Jamie's Pat, like, him in the corridor. motherfucker. Yeah. You know, and then Why was he here? Cersei's he sitting the looking time. at the window. That was the second bit, but yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. And you know why she reveals why he was no, there? No, I, I know, yeah. but I'm saying at first, like, no, I didn't at first, think so. I just thought, cheeky, uh, <laughs> he's been fucking at it. <laughs> he's but, a maester. He shouldn't be diddling. Remember the old man, uh, the one that farted? Yes. I forget, I forget what his name is, but he, he used to, aye, that was it, yeah, he used to always have the ladies in his room. And oh, pretend he was lines. hobbled. Yeah, hobbled, but actually he'd get off them like, rah, just ridden you senseless wench. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Why, why they never touched oh, on that more, you know? Yeah, just a, wee, just a wee nugget that was dropped in there. Makes you think, oh, he's a bit smarter up than... Until then, up until then, you thought he was very kind of old and frail and, and wizardly. Almost. Yes. But actually, that just showed you the other side that actually he's playing at it. He's just causing a bit of havoc. Oh, he's, he good. ended up as a fucking giant pincushion anyway, yeah. so it's not really that. <laughs> um, um, then what happened? So Danny arrived back at Dragonstone? Yeah, so Jane, uh, Cersei's pregnant. Missed that. Nope, that's no, that doesn't happen until that's later. That's all later. later. I thought later. it was all oh, one scene. Nope, later. not one scene. That's Jesus why Christ. everything you kept saying there was wrong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ha! So you stick your nose to But you do see in both bits, so... That's what can lead to that. Okay, conclusion. that's before of me. Yes. Yeah. Anyway, Danny arrives back at Dragonstone. Uh, Drogon's fine, by the looks of it, because he's flown back okay. I, there's John, there's John not even a mention Drogon. of him being being shot or anything. No, no, no. He just flies down, says, hi, John, in his Drogon voice, you know, planes at him nearly. Um, and John's like, oh, no, I'm scared of a dragon. No, I'm not. Actually, I love dragons. It gives a wee pat in the nose. It's all good. <laughs> I love that. You okay. may boop snoot, friend. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so you're so obsessed so with fucking memes I love memes <laughs> they entertain me you guys don't that bit was oh, that, <laughs> that bit I think was meant to be kind of like oh but it was just yeah. kind of like alright oh, cool it's, so it's yet another I think it's yet another link to the whole I, John is a Targaryen I also think but it was so kind obvious. of a kind of a Daenerys moment going oh look how he is with kids yeah, you know how women love that kind of thing. Oh, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because, that yeah, did make her uterus flew. tickle a little bit. Well, she yeah. can't have kids, Covered. so... No, clearly. Yeah. So, Could you not? No, that got taken away from her by the... Oh, yes. The witch. That's craft true. lady, the voodoo lady, after she gave right. birth to... Yes. Fuck, I can't um, remember what it was, a nail bomb or something. What was it? What she give birth to? I can't remember. Or it, she miscarried well, it really or something. I think she miscarried. It wasn't really human, it was a bit of a mess. Yeah, I think it was. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, anyway, anyway. So, yeah, and, John, and so John and Danny are having a wee chit chat about her children. It's like another of that kind of let's set them up scene. Um, so, that's what it is. And then, uh, out of nowhere, Jorah is back. Jorah Mormont. And how much did Jon Snow look like his nose was bent out of shape when yeah. Jorah came well, in? I, I wrote here, Danny nearly breaks the friend zone. <laughs> She does, right? Because I literally for a minute thought she had like nearly had a tear in her She was going to kiss him. I, yeah, yeah. Until all of a sudden she was like, oh, Jorah, this is Jon Snow. <laughs> and so, and <laughs> you find the meme on that, aren't you? No, no. Are you not? Oh, seen no, that Stu sent more stats. Oh, brilliant. Oh, so. yeah, I totally was like, my man, Jorah's there. Fuck you, Jon Snow. <laughs> because yeah, can you say his name normally? Uh, what? Not really. John Snow. <laughs> just, no, no. <laughs> just say it in your normal accent. John Snow. <laughs> Can't do it. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> what are you guys talking about? That's how everyone says it. <laughs> you know nothing, John Snow. John Snow. <laughs> John Doe. <Do. laughs> um, but yeah, no, no, no. Actually, yeah, yeah. Danny that nearly breaking the friend zone. That was a weird one because I, I was. I mean, it was really nice to see that she was so happy to get Jorah back, but I thought Jorah had been so friend-zoned beyond belief that he had no hope. But you almost had to be glimmer and thought, Christ, maybe Danny's just going to go like, do you know what, you've served me well, I'll you're give one you of the a... best pals, I'll give you a sympathy fuck. <laughs> That's what I thought. I was thinking the whole thing. Let's see if your cock's got a stone scale on it. <laughs> oh, oh, no. oh, Fucking dear. boom, like a jackhammer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was thinking when that... This exact scene that there's probably like a graphic novel offshoot <laughs> where they go and like offshoot. they bang a whole bunch of times, you know. Mm-hmm. But she's always been like, Listen, the, the free people can't know about me banging 
banging you, you know, because I'm meant to be like the queen and untouchable and all this kind of stuff. So we can't talk about it. So I actually, in my head, Jorah's been banging her this whole time. <laughs> well, there might be Jon Snow whips down her panties and it's like all stone scale across her thighs. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like a fucking cave entrance, yeah. you know? <laughs> oh, dude, oh, please that's don't, wrong. don't. Oh, that's, that's horrible. That reminds me of a night out in Dundee. Um, <laughs> <laughs> There. <laughs> we love you except you you know who you are get it seen to <laughs> Jon Snow looked looked a bit worried Jon Snow Jon always Jon looks worried yeah. it's like his default face it's like Shia LaBeouf the default facial expression is holy shit what's going on did he get introduced at this point as Jorah Mormont was this when they had their oh I, I served your father he was a decent chap no no that was later on was that later on again that was later yeah, on that's but he was kind of like you mean fucking this guy? <laughs> and I don't know, ladies and maybe fellas, but I feel like Jorah's got way more sex appeal than Jon Snow. Um, I, I can, I think I can see. Jorah this looks like, like yeah. he would, he would smash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas Jon, he's got that old swab. Man. He's got a bit the James Bonds about him. Is really what I want to see. Yeah, you know, he's got that swabby type. He would be not a bad James Bond, wouldn't he? Just see, eh? yeah. better than that fucking bum Daniel Craig. <laughs> It's like, I haven't had any work in the last few years. I'm going to just go back to what I know. They'll take me back. God. Ugh. No, he's, yeah. he's actually in a in a new film and he looks fucking fantastic in it. And he was great in... Oh, is this this Lucky, Lucky Luke Logan? Thing? Logan. Uh, exactly, yeah. And he was also fantastic in uh, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. And I don't care what everyone says, I like his version. Mm, but not seen it. half of his James not Bond original. films have been shit. You're you're, yeah. you're trying to hold it in. I know. I know. We spoke about it before. Yes, I'm always needing to hold it in. No, <laughs> he's needing to pee again. Need to pee already? <laughs> no. Okay. So anyway, I'm I'm, I'm thinking this is going to be a two part or though. I think we need to try and we need to try and move it forward. Yep. I'm going to not talk for a small period of time. <laughs> Go. So next scene, Brandroid. I had a thought, guys. I'm joking. <laughs> Brandroid yeah, sends the ravens think. over Eastwatch and Wall. Sees the army of dead, and as soon as the night king looks, he breaks. Does he break it or is it broken? Well, I think it's broken. I think the Night King breaks it. But that's because of the fan theory. And that's because I think the Night King is Bran. It's Bran. Have you noticed that they've changed, obviously they've changed the actor from... But he looks Hard so Hunter like him. And he's looking more like Bran, yeah. It was in the trailer before the Have season they? started, yeah. It's a different actor. I, I don't know the chap's name, so I've written it down. But who played him in Hard Hope? You know when he was sitting there raising the dead, yeah? He's yeah. got a really good look at his face there. Whoever that actor was in season... I'm going to say that was... Five or was it actually six? Five. Four. No, it was, it was five. Um, so oh. they recast him for this season for series seven to a different actor. They still put him in the same kind of makeup with the horns and whatnot, but you can tell his face is different. But, but it is, he's a lot closer That's looking to Bran. What I'm looking for, yeah, because I said that, there, there, right there. Yeah, maybe a little bit. See, that looks like Bran. I think that was someone we've not seen for a while. Grey Worm. Grey Worm. Grey, Grey Worm's still stuck at Castle of the Rock. Yeah. Did I even get his name right for once? That's amazing. Well done. <laughs> yeah, being surrounded Grey by well. Grey Wolf's uh, fleet. <laughs> Grey Wolf's <laughs> and the Black You're Dodge. on Grey Wolf, yep. Uh, so, right, moving up. <sighs> so I think that's all about that one. Not much else to talk about with that until next week, eh, Dave? But anyway. <laughs> I, I disagree with the, the, the theory. I just think that that means that they're changing the storyline completely. I don't think they are. It does, because... He was well, blatantly one of the first men, and I don't see how Bran, being the Raven, I don't see how Max von Sydow, uh, the Raven, mm. could also be the Night King, because they're mm-hmm. existing in two different bodies, mm-hmm. and two mm-hmm. different realities. Mm-hmm. So that makes no sense at all. So mm-hmm. if they do it, they're just doing it for a swerve, and it doesn't actually work with continuity. Mm. So if you mm. do do it, Game of Thrones, suck a dick! <laughs> I hate sitting next to John R. R. Martin. John R. R. Martin. <laughs> Um, what was it? So George, George, was it George R R that said there was three big swerves, or was it Weiss and Benoff? I can't remember. I've not heard that. I yeah, don't even know what it is. So the hold door, hold the door, and right. the fact that it loops back round into time. Yeah, mm-hmm. was that one so of the big was, swerves? So that was I think the big, Mad King will be the same moments. idea. I think Bran will be Bran, in the middle of a fight. Them, burn them all, burn them all. Uh, no, I think Bran will be in the middle of a war of some kind. Uh-huh. And someone will be screaming, burn the wall, burn them all, burn them all, burn them all. And, and the Mad King will go mad because Bran will be yeah. in there viewing something at the time. That would make sense, yeah. In the same way that Hodor starts going, Hodor, Hodor, Hodor. Mm-hmm. Well, but do you not think you, the Mad King... Do you the exact same thing three times over? Do you not think the Mad King 
is seeing the army of the dead, the White Walkers, and he's trying to burn them all. No, because, because when, when, when Hodor... Oh, I, know, when, I thought that was obvious. No. There's another way when right, Hodor right. was shouting, hold the, hold the door, you know, when he was like Willis and mm-hmm. yeah. went, went yellow bus, he was like... Um, <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> he wasn't seeing <laughs> what... <laughs> He wasn't seeing what Bran and Cullen Bay Hodor were seeing. He was just hearing this message of hold the door, hold the door. He was like, so it was kind of feedback in a way. So I don't think the Mad King will see the White Walkers, but he'll get this like message into his head of burn them all, burn them all, because someone yeah. will be shouting, burn them all yeah, makes for the White Walkers. Because yeah. I imagine but Dragonfire will just... The other thing with that is that they're not going to have a lot of time to place that in. If they're going to do it, it's going to have to be five minutes. I think there's going to be there's going to be a Bran episode. I think you think next season it wraps it all kind of up. There's going to be a big Bran episode. Could do. It could be episode six. Mm. Could be episode seven. Mm-hmm. Who knows? No, you know haven't. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so then we move to. I just Sam hate downloading Sitwell. things illegally, you know, so I wouldn't do it. Yeah, pirates. Yar. It was on YouTube, wasn't it? No. So we're back. We're back with Sam. We're back. Deep. No, we're not. We are. We're back. Yeah, we're back with you. Know. We're back with you. The continuity leader. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So no one is talking. Right. We just we we we, we, were, Watch on. we were speaking to Bran. Speaking about Bran. Bran droid. Yeah. So right. that, so that was back. pretty much it. We're back at the Citadel, and Sam is cleaning up in the background where all the maesters are having to be chinwag around the table. Oh yes. And they've got the they've got the message. Uh, from Bran about what's going on and they're all like ha 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 laughing about it and going like oh the army of the dead really blah 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 and then um, Sam's kind of going like no wait a minute this is true because um, I know Bran he's a good guy and he would survive years above the wall <laughs> and actually, he's a good cunt that Bran <laughs> and, uh, and uh, apart from he does that creepy thing with Sansa but you know <laughs> apart uh, from the fact and, he uh, watches and actually right and, and after a while eventually goes you? And anyway, the White Walkers are, are, are real because I killed one myself. Yo. And you're kind of like, all right, um, but we don't believe you <laughs> and but go clean out our toilets. J- would Jim you Bro- believe Sam if he'd said, I killed a puppy? No. You know, I would believe him if he could kill, kill anything. But Jim Broadbent, I think, well, the, the, my, my perception is that he does kind of believe a lot yes, of what think, Sam says. So. He actually thinks that there's more going on. He's like, he's thinking there's more going the on. The maesters will end up being the saviours. You think? At the end yeah. of the day, they'll do something. Well, he turned, around, the of he turned around and said, Sam turned around and said, if you go and tell all the lords of the house to march against the wall, they will do it. Mm-hmm. So he's kind of also looking at the fact that the maester cult, as it were, will kind of technically mm-hmm. work, does rule, help rule. The whole I, can, I can't relate them to Catholics, but carry on. <laughs> I've not seen one bit of paedophilia. Yeah, this is true. Okay, no, they can't be then. <laughs> anyway, I can find, I can almost hear your brother's asshole pucker and tighten it <laughs> somewhere out there. He's like, oh, I just if got a shiver. If you he know was what, here just now, would he already be in the kitchen? That's, that's yeah. some, some of the better noises his asshole have probably made. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dear me. Oh, quality. <laughs> <laughs> oh, period. Never mind it. He'll never hear it, so it doesn't matter. It's okay. So, <laughs> Until we get to the Scorsese episode. Yeah, which he's going to be so hooked in for. He's but but it'll be like, he did a Scorsese episode without me. He'll be like, yeah, we'll, 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 uh, we'll, we'll just... We could do another one. Do a Tarantino time. episode. Yeah. Oh, should we, we actually fine. purposely we do a Tarantino fine. episode? Yes. And just I'll, 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 I'll have you watch Kill Bill for it. I don't mind that. Anyway, move on. Yeah. Come move on. on. Move on. Move on. Three minutes um, here. So then we're back in uh, Dragonstone, Varys and Tyrion having to be chinwag about we've got to make Danny see sense. Yeah, Tyrion's still, still unhappy about what happened. I think Varys is trying to feel his way around the situation. He's trying to figure out. So what are you like a blind man at an orgy? Are you against <laughs> this yet, or what do you reckon? Are we going to stick with Daenerys? Oh, we're sticking with Daenerys. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, me too, me too. That's, that's yeah, me too, I'm just testing. Yeah. Yeah. Just testing. And uh, I definitely haven't read this note that's wrapped up in front of me. But then Tyrion like, just basically calls him and goes, what did it say? <laughs> He's like, well, nothing good. But <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's, that's one of those nice little bits that yeah. they used to have in the early the seasons. Episodes, yeah, I mean, that's a little interplay you'd have between like, Littlefinger and Varys and King's Landing. It's and, a little bit of band. Yeah. But they don't have a lot of it now. But that's a pacing thing because they've got so much to wrap up and they're struggling. Which is funny because they had an entire season where they season five 
and a lot of season right. six was just Fuck basically fucking yeah. just jerking <laughs> off and not getting a payload. They definitely had two or three episodes of filler, you know what I mean? Just like... Just Wait, and like now, now they're kind of, all oh, right, actually, we're Ooh, behind. They move stuff like, really fast. Funny yeah. that, it's yeah. happening in this podcast. I think I'm doing quite good at keeping pace now, <laughs> now we've got I'm, going. And I'm it. also not sure what filler there is. In this podcast? Yeah, I mean, it's been all about <laughs> well, Game of Thrones. He's, he's been chatting some shit occasionally, you know. <laughs> That's very true. By he, you mean him, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> Pronouns, pal. <laughs> um, so then uh, John gets the note, and it's uh, just saying Bran and Arya is alive, which you couldn't believe. The army dead imagine on East Watch. He's a born actor, though, isn't he? Yeah, he's doing the whole, oh no, what am I doing the world going after you? Oh no, I'm Jon Snow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Glowering about. Um, Brooding. So... Then they're at the table and they're chatting about the plan. What's going to happen? Yeah. Um. So John. Um. So John suggests Tyrion. No, Tyrion suggests taking a White Walker to Cersei. It's like the only way we're going to convince her that this threat is real is sure it. Right. Oh, I just had a sweet idea. Yes. Oh, who's her? Who's her hand? Kyburn. Kyburn. Do you think he can Re-animate. somehow replicate the White Walker? Uh. Well, he's he. <laughs> He definitely dabbles in a bit of black magic or dark arts because he, he, he's, he's some sort of alchemist. He's re- resurrected mining. Yeah. Yeah. So, so could get our own special. You know what I theorized mm-hmm. was, in fact, I'll tell you at the end because it's okay. it's related to the end of this episode. So I'll theorize right. at the end. Okay, go theorize at the right. end. So then, so Tyrion's saying, "Look, let's take a White Walker to Cersei because it's the only way she's going to know what's going on. We'll get a bit of a truce." But I can't go and speak to Cersei because I'm going to get killed. But I can maybe speak to Jamie. Let's see if we can make it happen. How am I going to get in a King's Landing? Good old Onion Knight goes like, yeah, okay, I'll smuggle you in. Don't you better. wish that Onion Knight came from Bravos? So he was like a faceless man. Sir Davos of Bravos. That would be funny. <laughs> <laughs> I he, love that. He keeps referencing in this episode that he's a shit fighter at least three times. Yes. Why is he referencing that? He's all, he always says it all the way through. He, so always, he must be a fucking. He's always said, he must be an absolute badass, right? No, I think he's actually no, a terrible fighter because no. he's got no fingers. Yeah. He's like, Why has he got no fingers? They got, got his... off with a dragon flame. Um, oh, did they? I thought he got his arms cut off. I thought they were like they smaller, cut off, you know, like, cut off. But did his, fu- his fingers not get fucked when he was fighting Terry in the King's Black Landing? Bay. Yeah. Mm, I don't know actually. Um, I'm or sure they did. I feel like he might have been. now that you now that you say that he got cut off, did he not cut them off? To give to Stannis as a I, gift or something. I think I think he was made to. I get a feeling. I might be wrong. DS is going to find it out anyway. But he he had to sacrifice his thumb because he got caught doing something he shouldn't have done because uh-huh. he was a smuggler. You know. Um, but whenever but, someone says I'm really really bad at this a whole bunch of times, mm, it makes me think no, I'm going to be awesome. Because what happened? And um, he hasn't ever shown to be good at it. The so resurrection of Jon Snow episode. Because he shouldn't be bad at it though. Um, he 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 was, did not want to fight. And then the last thing he did before they were going to go out and fight with the guys was he's like, for what you're about to see, lads, I apologise. <laughs> before he went out to fight, I don't think he can fight. No. You might find he's an absolute mental fighter, but Stannis took his uh, fingertips off. Stannis cut off four fingertips from Davos's right hand as punishment for his smuggling crimes. Oh, yeah. so it was for smuggling. Yeah, we also were kind of... We, Half right. All right. You're like, yeah, that works. Um, so... So he, he does wear a set of finger bones in a pouch around his neck, though. There you go. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Interesting. Is that a pouch around his neck? Might do. Anyway, move uh, on. So, so yeah, so Sir Davos and, and Tyrion are away to King's Landing. Jorah and John are like, right, we're going north. We're going to go get this white. Yeah. Uh, Danny's like, I'm not giving you permission to leave anyway. And John's like, don't give a shit. I'm doing it anyway, wench. Yeah. And then suddenly she's like, oh, oh, he's got balls. Like He's, he's a real man. Oh, oh, swoon, swoon. You know. <laughs> Whereas Jorah would just be like, oh, I, I lied my sword for you, my lady, blah, 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 blah. Like, I don't care. Jon Snow's shit. like, bitch, please, get back on the dragon. <laughs> Go back and look after the kids. Uh-huh. And, and that's about the end of that, really, at that point. And you're in Winterfell. He keeps looking at... Um, Jorah though all the time every time they're together and near John? Danny yeah Enjoy. I've noticed that loads. he's like motherfucker <laughs> what are you doing what's I'm happening watching, here watching what you're up there yeah. <laughs> aren't you so tall and handsome 
Mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Dashing good looks. Yeah, oh. I mean, you're even a fucking old Dear. stone man, and you're better looking oh. than me. Sick, more, yeah. more, uh, more charisma. Charisma. Yeah. He's dripping charisma, isn't he? Absolutely. You know he's fucked a whole bunch of days. <laughs> yeah. Um. Then we're back at Winterfell. I, pff, you know what? I, I'm really not digging Winterfell much. It's, there's just it's something kinda, lacking. Just like whatever. Move on to the next. Yeah. Bit. You've got this whole thing with. Ari and Sansa. Yeah. Yeah. So um so they're having a wee chit chat anyway. It's because it's so telegraphed that you're like yeah. oh, just get to it. Is it this is the chat about you like finer things? Uh yes. She's in her mum and dad's I'm um, totally you, mixed up with them too, yeah, so I'm you saying confused, nothing. You, 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 you've always liked too. the finer things, and yeah, Sans yeah. is like, oh, well, not really. Yeah, and the fact that you know she's meant to be fighting John's case a bit more, uh, and she's because, not even trying. Yeah, so and so she's looking, is, I think Arya is definitely thinking Sansa wants the Queen of the North title. But but the thing is, Arya is a, also a bit smug mm. during the whole thing, so she's not as much as I. I know that she's. Right, I don't really feel um, she's gone about it the right way. Yeah, she's just been too smug and too on the nose. Like it feels like she's mm. being petulant towards Sansa for the sake of it. Mm. And you're, I'm thinking you're smarter than this. You're meant to be the sneak. Mm. You know, mm. you're meant to be doing things in the in the in the shadows. It's definitely a totally different setup to what but, I had in like season one where they were like best pal sister <laughs> and obviously they've been away and done so much and come back together. Mm-hmm. Two of them are totally different people. Mm-hmm. I'm actually like in Sansa even more right now yeah. because the, the black girl. We talked about this last she's just, she's just totally hot. Because yeah. yeah. well, she's got Jean Jair here. Yeah. Yes. You love a bit of a Jean Jair. I do love the Jean Jair. <laughs> <laughs> I always have. Spice, Spice Girls, Girls, Girls Allowed, the whole thing. Oh, always, Jean, is, always a Jean Jair. Jean Jair was always my favourite. Spicy. Yeah. yeah. I knew everyone, everyone was meant to like Baby Spice, Emma Bunton. What were they? Uh, well, that's the As opposed to Scabby Spice, Mel B. No, Mel C. <laughs> Sorry, Mel C. Mel C got all right later on, though. Uh, she grew up to be nice, but she wasn't nice. She oh, was like quite one. chabby. Yeah. And Mel B's nice now, uh, still. See when she's got her hair straight. Mel B. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, straight here. Don't get the froze, but straight here. Mel B. Yeah. <laughs> aye, she's have to keep her mouth shut while I'm like licking the sweat off her armpit or whatever. But hi. <laughs> so one of those ladies, like I would smell the sweat off your seat. <laughs> I would drag my balls across broken glass just to have just a to Skype day room. over yeah. dial up with you. <laughs> Yes, I know those ladies. You can, you, can, you can always tell which one of us are married and which one isn't by the desperation, the sheer desperation. Just to get a smell yeah, of their sphincter. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just, just to get just a sniff it. The hint of a whiff. On that, my productivity at work over the last week has been fucking outstanding, I must say. <laughs> <laughs> After my workplace crush left. Big pair big pay of chairs. Did you actually left. say that on, re- on record? You they're, know your wife listens to this. Bo- they both have workplace <laughs> crushes. <laughs> What's that? They both have workplace crushes. Do they? My wife. <coughs> so, <laughs> <they're wrong. laughs> I'll, be, I'll be you then. <laughs> right, yeah, anyway. So, we're back at King's Landing. So, Tyrion's meeting with... Uh, oh, no, awesome. Tyrion and Davos arrive on the... Uh, Out of interest, point. what happens when you fuck your workplace crush? What do they become? <laughs> I, I've a never, home record. I've never done it. So, <laughs> yeah. Good answer. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> so we're back to King's Landing. So Tyrion and Davos have arrived on the beach. Tyrion's like, um, right, you coming? You coming with me? And he's like, no, I've got some stuff to do in Flea Bottom. So where you go and sort your own shit out? Um, I was kind of thinking, I was like, you want to leave the, the the only dwarf I've seen in the entire fucking show? Mm-hmm. That's not true. Huh? They had a. Did they not have a dwarf in Richard E. Grant's? Um, Travelling... Oh, no, they did, they did, they did. So they had the comedy dwarf in the travelling circus. <laughs> yep. Right, okay. So the only dwarf in the regular world, not mm-hmm. part of the circus, mm-hmm. there's only one of them, apparently, mm-hmm. and you're going to leave dead. him wandering around King's Landing mm-hmm. when he's, like, from the most famous family. And he's got a scar still. So he's, he's got a scar, yes. and he's got the golden hair, sort of. He's darker now. This darker now. But... He used to be really... Cool. Anyway, yeah. yeah. You leave him just wandering around... Yeah. What? 
Yeah. But then Davos was like, well, these steps aren't guarded, so, you know, it's all good. Don't but worry. Maybe he's like, just skip up there and you'll be fine. We'll go around the corner here and then we're going to meet, I'm going to meet my friend who's going to help <coughs> facilitate the next yeah. scene. That would have so, made a bit more sense, eh? But, yeah, yeah, but I suppose it spoils what's, it spoils, it spoils the yeah. thing later on. Well, so then Tyrion's going to be seeing Jamie in the crypt and, and obviously Bronn's been uh, sorted out and Davos goes to meet... Christian Bale. Christian Bale, that was it, yes. Do you not think it was fucking Christian Bale when he turned round? It was like Terminator Salvation with an armory. Oh yeah, that totally is that. <laughs> I didn't get it the first time. I never seen it because I knew fine it was Gendry that was coming. Because I said last week, you know, we know fine Gendry's coming back at some point. Yeah, but we so spent ages was talking people. about it, saying that he was. <clears throat> didn't you guys say he was on an, another part of the continent or something? Uh, yeah, I thought he was going to be heading up these cell swords that Cersei was thinking about. Um, I, I thought you said he was on Dorne or something. Uh, by this stage he could have actually rowed around the world like three times yeah. <laughs> the speed they're moving at in this series yeah. he, would, yeah, he, he was, was on a fucking speedboat boat. he could have gone anywhere <laughs> could have gone anywhere he was petal anywhere. powered mm. um, so it turns out all he did was row back to King's Landing <clears> and hid and went back to being a smith and it hid like right under right under there which is kind of makes yeah. sense but also it kind of makes me feel like huh bit anticlimactic mm. didn't go out cutting a swath so he meets, but then of, course, then, of course, Sir Davos, like, literally memes him. <laughs> oh, I thought you'd still be rowing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wink. Wink, yeah. yeah. I'd still be rowing. Bit of fan service there. Thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> that was oh, a literal brilliant. meme, wasn't it? Yes, that was cool. It was like I the dick on... I did quite enjoy it. What's your name, dick on, and then Bronn's fucking dick laughing on. his ass <laughs> at him. Yeah, brilliant. <laughs> yeah, it was good. Um, and then they and then they're so they, they've done all that. He's met Gendry. Gendry's like, right, come on, let's get out of here. I've got my hammer. That was quick with the with the stag's head. Have you seen? Did you I see the nice that. detail? I it? noticed. Like so, didn't notice the first time, but obviously the internet tells you everything. So no, I noticed it straight away. Oh, yes, I, I did. I but I also noticed that it looks shit. Like it's a cool design, but it, it looks does. plastic. It looks plastic as fuck. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, it look, it, yeah. it I think it's the way he's holding it. He's holding it with absolutely yeah. zero effort. There's no like imbalance on anything. <laughs> yeah. No, it just looks. Whereas if that was like a solid, uh, you know, dark stone. You yeah. Know, now, did his father use an, a hammer, or is it? <laughs> I get the I get the impression that, that he Robert would've, would have been axe, a or big axe or and big burly rough looking thing, rather than a sword. Warhammer. Warhammer. Mm. King Robert's Warhammer. Really that is a good. bastard. You makes, would not want to be hit with that. Makes perfect sense. But That's a fucking meat hammer. But why Why would Gendry, as much as he is quite a muscular chap, he's not... He's quite small. Mm. Mm-hmm. I just don't... I mean, okay, I mean, he's going to put... Putting your weight behind a hammer and he's a blacksmith and the whole thing, that makes sense. But the hammer looks shit and... Mm. I don't know. I don't know if I buy it. I don't like the look at the hammer. I hope they change it over the course of time because it looks bollocks. Yeah. So but the stag's head bit's nice. Unless they've brought Gendry back just to kill him, then you don't need to worry about the hammer at all. Well, who knows, eh? Just try to confuse us. Mm-hmm. Definitely. So then they, they, they're, they're going to leave King's Landing. There's a couple of guards that uh, catch them, so Davos, ma- Davos managed to bribe them. And they're away, they're away to leave until Tyrion arrives. And all of a sudden you're like, ah, oh, shit, here we go. I love yeah. that though. He's like, uh, pop one of these in a couple of hours. Uh, you'll oh, be ready to the, go again. Crab meat and Careful, lads. She's better get going, or you'll pop a hole in your chain, in mail. chain mail, yeah. That was quality. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. The onion was on at this episode, oh, right? He was. I do quite like him. He's not. He's not maybe not my favorite character, but he's right up there. He's a I solid, like, like yeah. solid, likable character the yeah. whole time. Yeah. And then, uh, so they're trying to figure out how they can get get Tyrion away because the, the guards have pretty much clocked him um, and he's like you know maybe an arrangement which distracts him enough for Gendry to hammer the shit Fucking out of him guards get hammered clunk, yeah <laughs> clunked right around the head the thing is if I was if I was Sir Davos I would have taken the 15 gold crowns back off them as well I, I was thinking like, the same thing fuck out of here, I right? thought <laughs> why is he not getting the money back off yeah, them should have done I'd have bunged them in the boat told that's 30 gold dumped crowns dumped them in the water. I, I would have also taken their the, their, their boots and their fucking capes and <laughs> their sword out taking it anything I could think how much favour that would have caused with the Dothraki Dothraki did, would have been like here comes the onion knight with some free shit for us yo it's great yeah it would have been yeah. if he just turned up and was like I bring you gifts yeah. from people I slayed yeah. did you notice the trivia about one of those gold cloaks mm, don't think I remember no. is, it, is it him it's him I don't know who that is Kevin Eldon 
he was in the last season as well, playing the buffoon who was Ned Stark in Richard E. Grant's travelling show. <laughs> and he, he's just been in Game of Thrones again. So, he cast as character. He's, while he's been cast, it says the same name at the moment, so it suggests that he's quit acting and become a guard. Oh, right. <laughs> and then oh, he got yeah. hammered. Yeah. So that's the end of him. Oh, interesting. But that, yeah. That is quite funny, though. But no, he was, he was potentially there. plausible, I would imagine. Yeah, yeah. see, look, Christian Bale. <laughs> Fucking Christian Bale. He looks old as fuck now. I know. Dude, he looks right. bloated in the face, too. There he is, there. Um, he was the Ned Stark in that, and then. Yeah, so. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. So they, they get away. It's all good. So then we're back at King's Landing, so Jamie's chatting to Cersei, tells him about um, that he's, he's met, just met with Tyrion, which Cersei knows because she let the meeting happen. Yes. Says. Which I think was what Kyburn was chatting to her That's about almost, just before he disappeared. Out it's almost like a virus little finger moment, eh? It's like my little yeah. spiders knew. Yeah. You know, my, my little birdies. So it happened anyway because I wanted to know what was happening. Yeah. Why, why is this? What is he, What you were chatting about? Mm. What's going to happen to Bronn? Well, she heavily influenced that Jamie should be getting rid of Bronn for that one. Yeah. He Which obviously helped may that. make Bronn... It may force Braun into revealing who he actually is. If oh, the theory sense. that yeah. one of you guys, Kev, 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 Kev brought up, Kev of Castamere. Yeah, Kev, Rain, his Rain. <laughs> Sometimes it's Castamere. Anyway. Rain's of Castamere. That's where they're from. Oh, right. same as the Lannisters of Casterly Rock. Ah, uh, right, right, right. Got you now. Just, we lost you there for a second. Sorry, but I got lost with all the names and words. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the guy with the thing and the stuff. Braun. So anyway, Braun. We're back. Yes. Braun. Yeah. So Braun. <laughs> That theory yes, that makes so. me think that James is going to be like, I got to do this shit, man. I got to do this thing, and Bron's like, uh, well, reveal. I think so I think Jamie will tell Bron though. He's like, Cersei wants me to, so yeah. I'm going to come back in half an hour. You know, you disappear. If you're not here, oh, fuck, I'll have to look for you. Yeah. You know, if I can't find you, oh dear. We have to we have to part ways, my good mm-hmm. friend. Comes by half an hour later, Bron's just waiting for him, like, come in, you cunt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jamie, Bron, like, I'll Bron come back be, in another half hour. Bron could beat him. Easy. Bron, Bron would. Be he taught half. Jamie how to fight. Yeah, Bron would mm-hmm. decimate him, but would he decimate original Jamie Lannister? I get the feeling not. I get the feeling. Well, Jamie Lannister's, Lannister's meant to be hard. double hard, eh? It's meant to be quite handy. handy. Yeah. Oh, Jesus, dude, that's brutal. Bad jokes. So, did anyone else think that when Cersei said, oh, do you know what, I'm pregnant, that she's a lying motherfucker? Uh, originally, no. It was somebody else that said to me, possibly you, Dave, actually, I'm thinking about it, um, that, no, it wasn't okay. No, nope, carry on. Because uh, I never they, thought about it until this second. They think that they, it was just a manipulation tactic by Cersei. I absolutely think it is. I yeah. think that she's been talking with Kyber. Kyber, yeah. Nearly. Kyber. Just get the net at the end, you're done. Yeah. Kyber, okay. <laughs> and... Sounds like a they've Star decided Wars that yeah, Darth Kyburn. <laughs> they've decided <laughs> the that Kyburn this is the crystal. best way to manipulate him, and what? And then it's, a, it's it's like a it's the gift that keeps on giving because at some point when there's a battle going on and it's getting really stressful, she can have a miscarriage and make him angry, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and then kind of double reinforce him to being on her side yet again. Yep, and yep. kind of. If she isn't using her, her sexual prowess to confuse him, mm-hmm. then she's using, you know, we're going to have a kid together, and this is going to be our chance, I'm going to say it's yours, mm-hmm. you get to be, you know... Don't care what the what the people say. He's There's like, oh wow, she line, loves me, she respects me, the whole thing. I mean, she's obviously blatantly been fucking you on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that would be funny. Because he's a dirty bastard. Yeah. You know that he... Baby comes out with that dodgy touch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know he takes care of the business. Yeah. But that then, like I said, if she gets if she gets in trouble, miscarriage, then Jamie's like, I'm gonna fucking kill them all, mm. and then it makes Jamie, Jamie Wick. Jamie, everyone's gonna turn into John Wick. Apparently so. <laughs> but it could darken Jamie for a few episodes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they could get like a fucking mace on his hand instead and start bashing motherfuckers in, <laughs> like Optimus Prime. <laughs> yes. Yeah. His hand disappears up his sleeve and comes out a mace, a mallet of Energon. Energon. <laughs> um, so, anyway, anyway, uh, Steve's like, what then, the fuck? <laughs> so then we've also got Cersei thinking that Atreus is actually a good idea at that point, though. She thought, well, do you know what? Actually, we're gonna have to defeat Danny in the long game here because if we face her now, she's gonna wipe us out. Mm-hmm. So I'm up for this truce thing. So let's see what's gonna happen. We're gonna play it out. 
did the pregnant thing. That was the last thing I said. And then when I was talking, don't you ever betray me again, which I thought was quite an interesting wee nod. Mm. So I think so. That's like that makes me think that Cersei is yeah, but it's whether Cersei kills him for it the next time. No, because his last betrayal will be killing her. Mm, well, that would really make sense when he yeah. finds out she's not pregnant. Yeah, never well, was. Yeah, no. I told the last girl say, that said to me that she was pregnant, and then turns out she wasn't. So. Wait, was I not going to say that? I am 2204-1708-2017. I am present here, officer. I was witness to what you said. Not enough? I don't know, you're the officer. You're the incriminating and fucking one. <laughs> None of them bitches have disappeared. Like, see if one of them goes missing. One of my ex girlfriends goes missing. Let's cut this bear now. <laughs> we should cut it out. <laughs> it was never, it was never, never, never happened. Yeah. <laughs> do, um, do, do, do. So, the pregnancy thing. <laughs> no, no, I've done it. No, seriously, being It's when a man right? loves a woman and gets a bit. No, I know. Oh, fuck's sakes, I've got two kids. When right? a man <laughs> loves a woman. I've managed it twice. 100% record. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, well, fuck you. I've got two at one, so there you go. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, my God. Almighty. 200% record. <laughs> My swimmers are dead between three years. Just open. Yeah. <laughs> that was a government conspiracy. It's like he cannot reproduce. Go and fucking irradiate his fucking sacks. I'm not fucking Alan Turing or whatever the guy's name was. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm Alan, not Turing? Alan Turing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. They chemically castrated him. Oh. Yeah. They're working on it for you, but it's a long distance thing. It's like sonic waves yeah, those, that just bash those, your bags every day what, for a bit, what, you know? Those, those protein <laughs> shakes you take, yo. You get special bags delivered. <laughs> Radiation. It's made me stronger! <laughs> Strong like Hulk! Strong like Hulk, indeed. No balls! <laughs> uh, imagine the Hulk's <laughs> balls. No, no, no. Imagine the size no, of them. No. They'd be fucking wrecking balls. It'd be like it. It'd be like it. Devastator and Transformers. <laughs> oh, French oh, the no, that's terrible. <laughs> Fuck, huh? honey. No, He's got oh, huge testicles. Devastator. He's got two They're wrecking balls. Which is the five ones that combine it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know that. Yeah. So there's a bit where I want to say squeaks and that's underneath. Come looking on. up. Does Mike that actually happen? It's John Turturro's character. Two, is it John Turturro? There's He's two giant like wrecking balls, yeah? That uh-huh. are being placed there. And they're swinging and clinging. No, no, nuts. Yeah. no, did that actually gonna, happen? Yeah. Oh my God, I, think I must have blocked that. At some point in 2018, we're going to do the Transformer films. I don't know it's if it's going to be awful. I don't that know if I could. Great. I think I could deal with six weeks of that. No, five. Five weeks of that. Really? Yeah. But I want to pretend that the fourth, the fifth one is really good forevermore. I, I want to watch, watch the animated again. one. I want to watch the animated one as a team. finish with that one? We, we should watch that as what, a team. What watch we did, watch the animated, animated movies of the 80s. So we do like G.I. Joe... Which we've done before. Oh, we yeah, watched Joel, that, that. Transformers, that. He-Man. Could do. Could do. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Move on. So, back to Dragonstone. Nearly. Oh, right, you had the thing about pregnant. the Dragonstone. No, I just want to say that the only thing that gets me was obviously time travel in this series has been very condensed and whatnot. Okay, so we don't really have any idea how much time's passing. But people are moving places really quickly within episodes. So I get the perception that weeks are passing, you know, within minutes. Therefore, I feel like that's Cersei's sometimes. going to have to start showing pretty fucking quickly because mm-hmm. she's only got nine months, and that nine months is going to pass really fast based on the time they want. If she'll have had the baby if, before season if eight if starts. She's telling the truth. Well, because Jon Snow's travelled from basically London to Scotland on a boat. Well, yeah. it's, it's funny you should minutes. mention that. That's where they go next. Is, Check out it? this map that shows hard home, <laughs> right? Hard home up the north here. It's the most northern point. Yep. End of season five, was it? Yeah. Since then. John has travelled to Castle Black through the wall. He's travelled to this island here. He's travelled all over Westeros, right down south, right down to Dragonstone, Dragonstone, right down the bottom. Back up to Eastwatch. All the way back up again. Yeah. Right? So he's, he's covered thousands all of miles. Place. In the same time, that wee red line is the Night King, walking towards the wall. <laughs> it's that tiny wee so in two seasons. He's covered like, he's got. if Jon Snow's covered, say, a thousand miles, yeah. and the Night King's covered three. <laughs> it's been terrible. So when you start to look at these, and I get why they're doing it. No, oh, yeah, yeah, no. you know it's it, it just makes a bot. Sure. It's still pe- well. It should have been the reason for why the Night King hasn't. Well, we don't know how long it took to get to the cave that Bran was in, the yes. Three-Eyed Raven's cave. Yeah, because that, that map doesn't detour. show you how far north anything is. It's it's kind of it could be a long. So they could have gone right up, but that is in the yeah. haunted forest, which I'm sure is where the cave was. 
I could be wrong. Kev, correct me. Um, so, Kev, 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 Kev. Or it could have just been in the lands of Always Winter off to the left there, which I guess are pretty much cold all the time. The mm. lands of Always Winter sounds like a shit place to travel from. Mm. Also, they are <laughs> travelling on foot, but then John... John Snow <laughs> is travelling on the horses, on the boats, on the boats yeah. but then he's yeah. also chilling for a couple of days here mm-hmm. and there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But you're right, he has been fucking everywhere. Mm-hmm. All over the place. But not actually fucking... But not fucking anywhere. Mm-hmm. Anyway. So we're back to Dragonstone, so uh, Gendry meets John Snow. There's a bit of bants. <laughs> oh, it was quite funny, he's like, right, but don't tell him who you don't are. Tell me who Just you say are. you're this, you're blah, 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 blah. Pulvis? Pulvis? Something like that. Eh? Pulver? I am Gendry. I, I'm Robert <laughs> Baratheon's son. <laughs> bastard son. And then they have a bastard off. Aye. <laughs> Has a bit mad bants about it. Yeah, and then they were like, "Yeah, anyway, our dad, dads are anyway, friends." Dad. Yo, we were cool. We You're short. Too. Yeah, and I pissed myself when he said Kit Harrington was short because he's like <laughs> this little baby man. <laughs> oh, it's funny though. And then and then Gendry's like, "I'm and, coming and, and beyond the wall." John Snow cracked a smile. He did smile. He did. That's he like the third one. I think. He wasn't doing sullen and broody, which no. is his standard get. Yeah, actually, always. cracked a smile, which was yeah. funny. I I did like that moment. So they're going, they're going up, they're going up beyond the wall. Gendry's going with them. Jorah's coming too. Tyrion gives them the new coin that they got when they were slavers, and says, yes. "Bring it back, because you know you need to come back with Danny. She needs you." Um, Danny makes like Google eyes at Jon Snow again. I actually wrote that down. <laughs> Danny makes eyes at Jon Snow again. He did. Did you write this when you watched it the first time or the second time? Same thing. Nice. So I watched the first time. I watched it for enjoyment. Watch it. Watch it. And the second time I watched it back, I was taking notes at the same time. Nice. So I could uh, I could do it properly. And then off they go in their boat. Yep. And Who's rowing boat. the boat? Probably fucking Gendry. Get me. <laughs> yes. Turbo rowing. Get them. <laughs> fucking record time. So we're back to... No, he just, he just takes his hammer and smashes it into the water and propels <laughs> them forward fucking like wave. 30 metres. <laughs> um, so Sam and Gilly are chatting. And I got, even watch, watching this the first time has annoyed me. Reading on the internet annoyed me. Watching it back annoyed me even more. The fact that Sam's getting all pissed off and he's getting raggy because Gilly's talking about all the stuff in the book. And then she drops the bombshell, practically gift wrapping the R plus L equals J theory in her lap. And Sam doesn't give a fuck. He's like, I don't give a shit about 15,000 poos. Fuck uh, me, Gilly, I don't care. I'm going to have to take my boot, give it to my son and have a hissy fit and walk out. Mm-hmm. Well, not my son, but you know, my pretend son. Little Sam. Uh, <laughs> That's He's great. not really That's there. Not you it? just you just alienated all stepdads. <laughs> <laughs> my oh, I'm glad son. You <laughs> <laughs> Although I don't think there's many stepdads out there who are looking after a kid that is their girlfriend's father's or however it went down. Yeah. So Ugh, creepy. Well we've already alienated the Dundee listeners, so we don't need to worry too much. <laughs> 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 Yes. Yes. Oh, He's yeah. a hero. <laughs> Thing is, I love it, Dundee. I lived Dundee's... there for four years. I love it. I'm the same. I lived there for a while. I lived in the Hilton Ged. I was just at the bottom of Hilton. Yeah. I lived in the Motley's Ged. I lived. And as soon um... as I told people that, they were like, "All right, cool." <laughs> they just back off. You were me. probably just up the hill for me then. I was on the, you know, the flats just onto the main road across from the Bellgate. Yes. <gasps> I was just there. No, no, I was up. At, I was but, up but, 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 on but, a hill. I lived in Bonnet Hill. Did you? Yeah. Uh, 99 to 2002-ish range. Uh, number 36. I was 33. I oh, w- you're like fucking... Whoa, whoa. Right, I love this. Anyway, anyway, carry on. on. Sorry. Just having a moment there. Were you a top floor flat? Yeah. They're awesome, weren't yeah. they? With the spiral what, what stairs number? and then two other staircases. Yeah, and yeah. yeah. Oh. So, we were, so we must have been like the next one. 36, 33. Holy fuck. We, we used to sit at the top of them and throw paper airplanes. The skylights. I love the skylights. paper airplanes. I could have sat... Right the way down to the well gate and round. <laughs> I could have sat it. and really? watched that out all day. It was such a nice view from there. Yeah, I yeah, loved it. That was there. awesome. Anyway, it was great flat. We Sorry. we just had a wank off over there. We did. <laughs> Lived in Wellington Tower for the Dundee listeners out there, which was basically at the top of the hill town. Yeah, in one of the four giant multis that got blown up like five years ago yeah, mm-hmm. on the twenty first floor, top of the hill, oh. top of the tower. I hope your tower. cladding was up to standard. What? I hope your cladding is up to stand up. It's alienating Londoners. I don't. I don't know. Is it? Well, this is none of the none of the flats now. The cladding is up to stand up, and it's a. Uh, oh, of course, the cladding, red yeah, the whole yeah. thing. Yeah, nine eleven. Guess what? You know. <laughs> anyway, whatever. So we're back in buildings. Don't, buildings fall, just crumble into themselves in seconds in America. But 
some mm. shitey tower block in London that's not built like the fucking one of the. So I'm feeling like Sam right now. I'm gonna pack up my shit and leave. <laughs> <laughs> Do we need to talk okay. about Sam and Gilly scene anymore then? Because it, it just annoyed me. Yeah. Well, you, you know, yeah, like, what is annulment? You know, at that point, Sam's a clever boy. He likes knowing stuff. I don't know why he's getting so pissed off. Because he's 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 not annoyed at her. He's annoyed at the maester's treatment of him and the fact he's still writing mm-hmm. scrolls and all this. He's frustrated. Mm-hmm. And, and she's no pumping him. So he's, he's totally pissed off. So I, re- I read somebody... Yeah, she's, she's, not, she's not giving nothing. Um... I read somewhere that they thought that he took the book with him, so he still, when they left, he still has. He probably the book. has, yeah. I'm not sure because the book he picks up to give to little Sam is not the one Gilly was reading, which is what I thought the first time, but the second time I was reading it, it wasn't. It not? Because right. it, it pans back and Gilly's still got the book. Uh, in front of her. Right, well, she'll have taken that with so her then. This is how it's going to go down. Hmm. She's going to say something around about what she said in this episode. He's going to be like, yes, yes, whatever. Wait, what? <laughs> mm-hmm. And that's literally how it's going to go. And it's probably where he's going to be on his horse and carriage. And he's going to have a fucking freak out and get the book. And then someone's going to try and rape and molest and kill them. And then some shit will go down and someone will <laughs> save them that we've not seen for ages. And he'll just be pointing his ass in the air going, just let me read the book then, okay? <laughs> <laughs> but I think, right, you know how Mira left in episode four? Was that just then? Yeah, right. I think that? so. Like Mira. Brandroid's... Uh, uh, Brandroid's... Uh, Kena. That was oh, her, yes. Right. Yeah. He, she is a Reed. Howland Reed is her dad. Okay? And he, he's one of the factions in the North that is loyal to Winterfell. Um, Howland is the only living person that knows Jon Snow is Lyanna's because he was at the Tower of Joy. The Tower of Joy? Uh, that's the, you know, the, the flashback scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, is it yeah, called, the, called Tower the Tower of Joy? Joy. That's yeah, hilarious. I love it. <laughs> um, so Howland Reed is still alive and Howland Reed can confirm Jon is Targaryen, in inverted commas. Right, well. Um, and then if Sam's got the book to back it up as well, is it just, I think the shapes, th- th- that is where they're moving the pieces together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think Mira will come back because obviously Winterfell, <laughs> Sansa telling everyone to bring the crops to Winterfell because they need to stock up for the winter and when they don't have enough crops, they can come there too. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. Mira will come back with her dad and then it'll all help tie up. Tidy, very out. tidy, nice. Uh, I was reading that online, that's what somebody thought. So that made sense to me. Um, so then we're back to well, actually talking about Winterfell that's where we're back to next and it's the whole Arya spying on Littlefinger but actually Littlefinger's doing exactly like playing Arya mm-hmm. she's doing exactly what he wants and her to do and he places to be note in about it's um, almost like spy Sansa versus spy isn't it and he's feeling hey, excellent yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and then trying to put the wedge in between Arya and Sansa so but that's back, that's little finger back to doing what he does best. Eh? Basically, yeah. yeah. And did you do you know what the note says? I uh, I read enough about it online. It's the one that Sansa wrote about father's been killed, but he was a traitor. She wrote it under duress from Cersei, and yeah, uh, I, I feel like it was Cersei's words. It was either season one, episode ten, or mm, like season really two, season episode two one. Early episode, yeah, and like that, yeah, yeah, Cersei yeah. makes her write the note saying. Yeah. Hey Rob, so Dad is a traitor and yeah, Cersei's yeah. really cool, so yeah. bend the knee. Do you want to know what the letter says just now? Oh, like verbatim? Yeah. Fine, let's do it. Uh, it's on one of these tabs, what I've got open. Have you got it? Oh. Okay. Uh, Fuck it, let's move on. You can you can call it out when it comes to you. Basically, it's exactly that though. It's, it's, she's calling him a traitor and blah, 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 blah. Why can't I find it? I read it earlier, man. Why is this here? Uh... No, fuck it. Oh, that's a brilliant face. That face. Is no, that the a, guy? Aye, that's him. That's amazing. Kevin Eldon appeared in it twice. Anyway, so what happened next? After... So it's the last bit. It's oh, from up at East Watch. So yes. Joy and Davos has arrived. They meet Tormund. Who have you got with you? The tall woman? That's <laughs> brilliant, <laughs> I fucking love Tormund. Nah, nah, like, nah, like, nah she's not here. Nah, oh, nah, nah, she's she's like, the banger. <laughs> Yeah, oh shit, that's funny. The tall woman. Um, and it's Westeros Assemble. Yeah, because uh, Tormund then goes and shows them the prisoners, and there is Thoros, Beric, and the Hound. See, they did a whole bunch of fucking wanking off in season five, and they could have actually shown them capturing these guys in season seven if they hadn't wanked off about eight episodes in season five. Yeah, mm-hmm. and but it's, it's a little bit annoying. I did like it as well, though, because I was just like, what are they going to do? I completely forgotten that the hound had seen it in the fire and went, Oh, we need to go to this castle. Well, so they obviously fired up there and then got caught. Yeah. Yeah. But 
you know, I wouldn't mind seeing that fucking fight. See, no, I, I prefer the the surprise factor of, oh, they're all together. Are you telling me that all three of those boys survived and that Tormund and, and whoever else was there with him survived capturing the Hound? And he's men not, with fire swords. Put up a fight, like. and he's not a vicious bastard, though, and he knows <laughs> they're all fighting on the same side. He knows why they're going to Eastwatch. And Actually, he'd probably say... Yeah. Fuck it, let's just go. Don't can't be fight arsed you. fighting they, you they cunts. Might have, yeah, they might have just... Yeah, and plus Beric and Thoros, they know they have to go beyond the wall and thought, well, at least if we get into the castle, then all we are is the, the drawbridge away from getting through. So yeah. let's just go with them and see what happens. It makes sense. But I, I loved this scene. I, I loved the, all the different interactions going on. Well, like Gendry, like, hating on and them then, and stuff. And, yeah. What about the, Topknot and um, Sir Jorah? What was that all about? Uh, but uh, Was it Topknot? Yeah, it's not about it. So Sir Jorah, no, it was uh, Jorah and Tormund were having a hoo ha because, really? because Jorah is a his, Mormon, yeah. i.e., his dad who used to run the Night's Watch. His dad hunted the wildlings. Used to hunt the wildlings, and then Jorah just turned around and says, "I believe you returned a favor." Yes, but Top Knot set was kind of they having a bit of a go, and then revealed that he was a Mormon, and that's how Tormund is like, "Oh, you're a, a Mormon." What's why that all about? I don't know. I, the only thing I remember about Thoros was saying that he can't really do much because he's um, he's not drunk. But yeah, you can't say anything because you're like a pirate scumbag. Um, <laughs> so then, <laughs> I almost I almost went and got it myself, but yeah. then I thought, why are in Spanish? Why are pirates pirates? I don't know, Dad. Because they are. I've already got you on a podcast previously <laughs> with that. Have you? <laughs> Fuck's sake. So then we get then we get uh, the magnificent servant assembling as the gates rising, plus uh, plus some red shirts, a couple of red shirts kicking the back. Eh? Oh, did you see the the Avengers assemble meme that I tagged you in? Where they replaced well, I, the faces. I saw it came up, but I didn't actually. Oh, it's like, oh, it's it's just a new gift where uh, we're doing you know the circle round in Avengers, but like everyone's face has been changed. So you've so. got like Thormund. <laughs> no, I got it. I got it. I got yeah, it. it. Who who would win in a fight of all of those guys then? Who's the Jorah. toughest? Jorah. I feel like it's Jorah. The Hound. The Hound? You pick the Hound? Oh, that's I like... think Tormund, the Tormund would give the Hound a bit of a battle, but the two of them are kind of... I think they would... I think back to your Conor McGregor and your Mountain. I, still, I think Hound. Jorah would still, because he would be smart enough... He's got skill. He would be smart enough to back up to start with. And he's big enough. Let them all but then Beric and <laughs> What's-His-Face would team up. And Thoros. Yes. Yeah. No, but if they all went one on one, if they just if it was just a one on one tournament, then I feel like when Jorah Jorah was a gladiator as well. Mm-hmm. I think he he hasn't lost a fight yet. Mm. The Hound has. Hound got beat by a woman. Yeah. <laughs> so. Although how how funny is that going to be when Tormund finds that bit out? Is it Tormund? Mm, Ginger yeah, guy? Yeah, yeah, actually. He's yeah. gonna I hope he's that gonna he fucking laugh the shit. Ah, my ah, woman ah, beat you! Ah. <laughs> You'd be like, he's not she's not your woman. <laughs> no, no, she will be. Huh? <laughs> You'd be like, you fucking ginger cunt. <laughs> <laughs> cool, so that was so there we go. That that episode took even longer than usual. So we at? 122. Oh no, no, we were 135 last night. Let's were wrap we? up and we're, we're laughing. We're flying. As long as we do it in less than Steve, 135. you're always laughing. But we had... <laughs> did, did, did you not say you had something to talk about at the end? Yes. Can you talk about it though? Or are you confused? Oh no, it was a theory I'd had about yeah. bringing the White Walker back to Cersei. Yes. yes. And I think I talked about this with Steve before, but I was thinking, like, they go past the wall, right? They encounter the walkers, it goes horribly wrong, the hound becomes an undead, and they take him back because he's recognisable. Yeah. To Cersei, Cersei, she would recognise him, and yes. then she would believe it. But that's a fucking shit story arc for him. No, no, because, and this is where Oh, because he got burned, me. and then he gets no, lost. No, 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 oh, no, no, okay. no. Wait for it, Steve, you dying to say this. Because then you've got zombie cocaine bowl. Get <laughs> fucking hype! Yeah! And the thing with that is, Zombie Clegane Bowl, the hound <laughs> turns the mountain into another walker as well, dun, and dun, they dun. just wreak havoc on King's Land. And could you imagine the two of them as walkers? <sighs> right, we're going way off track though. But that's that's like that's like stupid man. But that was my theory, because. But surely having, I mean, those guys that went up there are your best fighters, apart from Jon Snow. <laughs> yeah. 
Because and don't... he can't die because of fucking plot device. Because because plot yeah. device, yeah. He's he's the the mulligan of the, the entire Bieber. series. We did this thing on uh, WhatsApp about how many people uh, who, who would you save? I only two Mr. Fucking bends back. the rules here. It's like I want three people. I, I, first of all, I was like, I want three. I want three. Definitely, I was like Beric and Thoros. Well, you know, I can I can make do with not them anymore. Um, I want Jorah to come back, and I want uh, uh, the Hound. The Hound. That was my two. I was going to save, and I was like, oh, but I like Tormund as well. <laughs> I was like, tell you what. Toss Jon Snow and put Tormund in instead. Fuck Jon Snow, he'd kill him off as well. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Who did you choose? Uh, Jorah and the Hound, I think. Definitely Jorah. Jorah the Shagger. That's, yeah, that's you his nickname, right? <laughs> oh, yes! Oh, I told Deja Vu who you call the Shagger, baby. <laughs> Jorah the Shagger. The stuff, the stuff's kicking in there. Woo! <laughs> 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 Get out. <laughs> slams it down oh and I noticed that it's zero sugar as well nice yes yes, yes. Uh, being good being good um, me too <laughs> it's 20% bigger <laughs> <laughs> makes, a, makes a change um, you get a pill for that I think probably the hound I think Jorah and the hound are the yeah, fucking coolest that guys two, that was a two to save out all of them and then, and then but, but Tormund as well I'd be sad to lose Tormund but um Everyone else, I'm not so fussed with Gendry. You know, by it, it's a bit shit. You bring him back and kill him off, but you know that would work. Oh, I could go with it. Yeah, unfortunately, it it's probably the ones that would survive. What will probably happen is Jorah will sacrifice himself for Jon right. Snow, and then kind of give him the nod, like fucker. It could have been me, but but it's you. So go fucker. and go and go and wreck her for me. Hmm. Yeah, fucker. Stuff it up the dragon glass. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> And then I kind of feel like Jon Snow and Gendry will be the ones that survive because it's kind of Ned Stark and mm. Robert mm. Baratheon mm-hmm. and the whole thing, you know? Mm. Somebody said uh, that about the, the three of them would be... Does that mean wrap-up? No, 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 no. I, I didn't oh, yeah, see it. That's not the point. Um, the, the, the three kids would survive for the sins of their father. Yeah. So there would be... Uh, John and Danny would mm-hmm. be kind of like ruling the kingdom. Danny is queen and John is like Mrs. Um, Daenerys. And Gendry would be the hand. <laughs> Gendry would be the hand. That's oh not, really? That's not a bad three joke. kids that from the generation from the generation above that, that that fucked everyone up. They were the three that were going to stabilize it. In See, yeah, that's, I was just thinking. There's a, there's a theme, it's like, like an overarching theme in Game of Thrones. History is repeating itself. Mm. Winter's coming again. You know the long night, mm-hmm. all this sort mm-hmm. of stuff. So what happened when Winter so, came the first time? Well, the time before this, who was we in got a tissue and cleaned it up. <laughs> I don't know. Was it Ariel Winter? I'd be up for that. Anyway, oh, sorry. Sorry? Yeah, I yeah, know. actually, yeah. I'll agree with that. She's in Modern Family. Um, so... Cool. Anyway, my favourite things. In the uh, so it feels like um, there's a theme of <laughs> history repeating itself, and then you've got the Baratheons, the Starks, and the Targaryens coming around again. <laughs> You're so lost! <laughs> he likes big tits and he cannot lie. Those other can't deny. <sighs> and he likes Ariel Winter's ballistics. So. Do you know what Ariel Winter is? I don't want no, to. clearly not. <laughs> no, right, probably not. Right, we'll get back on point. Did your kid ever watch Sophia the First? <coughs> She's the voice of Sophia. No. That's just made it fucking weird for you, hasn't Hashtag it? Hashtag dad talk. Don't care. <laughs> 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 right, yeah. So, what do you think of the episode overall? Uh, good. It, was, uh, it wasn't a filler episode. It was definitely a plot device moving episode, moving pieces again. Kind of like episodes one and three pretty much where mm-hmm. so it seemed we've, we've had we've had one three and five as the plot devices and two and four having the battle at the end and let's be honest they're going to something's going to happen in six because six is all you know the one before the end is that's always, that's my thinking about always, six oh my god we've only got two episodes left yeah. six is this basically is the wise. episode so nine of this next, season next week magnificent zim when they go north this is going to be the Battle of Bastards. I've just got back into Game of Thrones and I like it again now. Yeah, and you've only got two weeks to go. <laughs> they are monster episodes though. Like 70 minutes yeah, and 80 minutes or something. Are they? Six or <laughs> yeah. <it's really> <laughs> <laughs> this really this, this next one is 71 minutes long. Yeah. Sexual. And then, yeah, I think it's 86 for the finale. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's, 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 that's really awesome. awesome. It's 81 because it's like yeah, a, it's it's a, a movie. movie. Yeah, movie. It's one hour 21 minutes. But that'll be a lot of wrapping up, setting things and... I'm, I'm, my head says that somebody's getting killed off in 10 just to get rid of another story. There's no another 10. Story. Uh, no, 7 in this series, then. sorry, I, the last one. But the last season is meant to be like potentially up to two hour episodes. Mm-hmm. It's going to be 
Just it could be the longest in terms of screen time, but the shortest number of episodes. Why would it, why, why do it that way? Yeah, it makes no sense. I would have rather they just stretched it out, but I'd sure. rather they just released it all on day one. You just got it fucking binged. No, because I was chatting spoilers all over the place. And no, you... I was chatting to somebody about that today. I think that's what HBO should do. Considering all the fuck ups that have happened this season, yep. I think what they should what, do one is fuck they up? should. Two. Well, They've there's... been hacked several times. Yeah. Their social media's yeah, been hacked. Yeah, and as well. there's all the, the emails, there's the. Scripts where are you going? Where are you going? No, no, where are you going? Nowhere. Where are you going? Nowhere. So the scripts, the scripts have been leaked. There's been episodes four and six have gone out early. You know, it's so. What I was saying, I was chatting to somebody at work about this today. What I think HBO should do is they should get everything filmed, have it in a fucking vault, and on HBO's own platform, load them all up so everyone can watch them like a week before they actually will be on TV. Yep. The HBO make a lot of money because a lot of people will go and buy that service just so they can binge watch it. Yep. And then you know, it's the same as Now TV, you know, when people yeah. get Now TV just to yeah. burn through previous yeah. seasons again. I don't think they will do it, but to, in my head, I think that's going to give them the least amount of havoc plus profit. the most amount of profit. Yeah. But then the thing with the streaming services now is like every there's there's so many of them. It, it was like <coughs> you, 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 you get one or two, and you're saving money, and now you're going to have to have like ten, and you want to spend more than you spent on cable. So. Mm-hmm. It's kind of weird. Anyway, so, yeah. I like <clears throat> I like the episode. Yep. I'm really back into Game of Thrones right now. Yep. I know for a fact I'm going to watch them all before we do the last season. Mm-hmm. I will that watch them all idea. again. But we may have a year to wait. Could, uh, <coughs> rumor, rumor, they don't even start filming again, have they? So it's they're at least a year. That's because so I'm not ready to do the filming yet. For the end, <laughs> for the end I'm of the Night the, King, you see. Oh, I thought the, you were the Outlander. Is there hey. projects? Is there projects we can talk about or not yet? No, we can't talk about projects. Projects, like not yet. No, no, we can't. That's fine. Okay. Anyway, um, so yeah, so we're at least, at least the last three months of twenty eighteen at the earliest we're going to get it. But my head, I'm thinking we're not going to get it till early March nineteen. I think we're gonna. I think we're just gonna be. We're gonna leave it a bit longer. That's just the thing now with TV series is they're becoming so big. Mm. Look at Westworld. Yeah, yeah. But then Westworld was delayed because they didn't know if it was going to get picked up, so they, yeah, they, they paused everything yeah, and waited. Well, I'm not going to be time to watch Westworld then. Westworld's yeah, not yeah. out until next year. What? Yeah, please, please. You should I, I watch mean, it though. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Well, shall we? When Westworld comes out next year, shall we review the first season, then do the second one, like I'm review the first that. one seven weeks before yeah. or whatever? Yeah. It's ten. It's ten episodes. Okay. Um. We could, do, could do it in five weeks if I was people can watch at that pace. Mm-hmm. You know, two two every week. Well, the really? thing is, we've all seen it before, so yeah. it'd be refreshing to get back to it. We've yeah. all seen it before, except from this you, guy. Oh, that's, do you know, that's going to be nice to see your take on everything. Me, me, and and Bob at work, we were fancy in the shit of that week by week. Fucking, it was honestly, it was one of the one of the best series that I've watched. For the fact that I had like minded souls at work, that I could go chat to about everything reading on the internet do you know what about this what about that have you thought about this have you thought about that I've never done it with any other TV series ever oh really than this yeah see yeah, I did yeah, it a whole good. bunch of Game of Thrones mm-hmm. but then oh well, you were saying it last week about when in the early days yeah you and your pal used to talk about it all the time yeah but we did that that's with Lost like, as well that's what like Westworld was for me yeah. oh nice I could get into that yeah it was good um, I, liked the, I liked the episode a lot I didn't think we're not going to make it uh, unless, ah. we, unless we really push it <laughs> um <laughs> Yeah, I'm getting trouble. I'm getting. I'm getting my call anyway. The the Gendry the 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 not the Gendry thing. The um, oh, fucking hell, what's her name? The Sam. Gilly. 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 It was kind of like, dude, she's telling you, she's telling you, fucking pay attention. But it didn't bother me that much, actually. You know, it'll come back. Nothing bothered me that much. In this episode. The winter fell. Arya and Sansa nonsense. No, I'm kind. I'm fine with that. You have enough with it. I kind of think yeah. that 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 Arya doesn't quite quite seem very clever when it comes to her sister I, I, but also it's her sister so she's going to be naturally a bit fucking arsy to her anyway so I miss her going through her list <coughs> when she left Bravos and she was killing you know, she was killing there in Trant she was then going after she went off to Walden Free she mm-hmm. was going through her list why has no one spoke about that recently about they Frey? spoke about it last week her list when she they didn't speak about Walder, her killing Walder Free. I thought she would have said like no, by no, the way Sansa no one no one, uh, word either. No one knows or that no one really gives a shit maybe that's probably it probably mm-hmm. no one actually cares I suppose if she lets slip that she was the one that killed Walder Free, then they'll be like well, well they, that's a crazy power to have the women from Frey's castle know about that though yeah 
Because she said she tell them it was. Yeah. Did they not say yeah, that? So why is it not spread? Meester's not working. Maybe the Meester got killed as well. Maybe he killed all the males. The anyway, I really like this episode. I would give it at least a four out of five. <laughs> I thought it was out of ten. I was like, whoa. Uh, <laughs> at least a four. This out would be five. the first one we've rated with a yeah. number. We were meant to rate them all though. Yeah. Because <laughs> I actually have written the notes rated. We'll just go with. We'll just go with. Yeah, it was a decent episode. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. it. Yeah, yeah, and we did all fan theories at the start, so that means that we week. can wind up yeah, right up in the next yep, yep, few yep. seconds. We're done. Go. Hashtag it, Steve. No, that's the beginning. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> hell. <laughs> uh, so you can get me at Wise Pranker on Twitter uh, and Stephen House Ralph on Facebook and Instagram. There we go. You can also find us at the Buff Geek Podcast blog wordpress.com. Go out there, check out our fan theories. You can hear this podcast on there as well. So if you can't find this podcast anywhere, go and look there, okay? <laughs> that makes no sense because we're <laughs> <laughs> Nearly got you. What about you? <laughs> and you'll find me at Dstoby on the usual places. Over to you, big guy. Okay, you can find me, him, us, all of us, everywhere that he said, that he said. As always, this podcast is sponsored by Alpha Fitness. We're getting slack with that. We're getting slack with it a little bit. Nutrition plans, training plans, hit them up. Hashtag the Buff Geek Podcast. Bend the knee.